data indicates that principals spend around 70% of their time managing buses, budgets, and behavior. Only 30% of their day is spent on instructional issues, factors that actually help kids learn. Educational leadership, that principal in a school building, is the second largest factor in determining student achievement. The first being quality teaching. If you have a principal who's really focused on quality teaching, really focused on helping kids understand why this is so important, kids benefit. In 2006, the Jefferson County School District in Kentucky began a pilot program called SAM, the School Administration Manager Project. The SAM, we like to say, is more of a process than a person. It's a process of change within the school community for the principal to spend more time on instructional leadership rather than management. And so really it's redefining what the principal is. This is my 12th year as a principal. When you're around something for so long, you know what you need to take it to the next level. So I knew the SAM, having a SAM at Kennedy was important because it was the one way that I would be able to spend the majority of my time on instructional issues. And right now I'm up to about 75% of my day. Prior to having a SAM, I may have been at 30%. The John F. Kennedy Montessori School in Louisville is in its second year of having a SAM. Well, yes. As a SAM, I'll start the mornings off out doing bus duty, checking on students, just kind of reminding them to have a good day. Yes. Okay. The majority of my day will consist of dealing with student behavior. She reached over and ripped it. Sophie, what about you, honey? Did, did that scare you? I get to learn about the child, learn about their families, and realize that it's not just a discipline issue. There, there's something behind every person, because we're all human. Is that if something like this happens in the future, you always have more adults that you can tell now, okay? okay. And it makes me respect her job as a principal more, because now that I'm just doing the managerial piece only, I look back and see what she's doing as an instructional leader and think, wow, how did she do my job and her job previously. And you know, I'm just I'm just gonna talk to all of them and then call their parents and okay. take your situation. All right. But anyway, what do you have that's instructional? Okay. All right. I would put in a sixty or seventy hour week prior to having a SAM. And now that I have a SAM, I have found that I am able to make it work within the hours of the day that we're given. Does she have a sub? Is this for any and teachers only? Mrs. Three Dawson students. and I we have a very close relationship, which I think is the most important aspect of, of making this whole process work. Having a SAM allows me to get into the classrooms, talk with kids about the work that they're doing. That's some good work, Elijah. Very good. It enables that conversation to go a little deeper because it's just not me saying, okay, show me what you're working on. We have to match them. So Have you already had a lesson on landforms, or is this what you already knew? You're building on what you've known, what you know already? Yeah. What you know already? Mm-hmm. Transportation, clothing for who? For the Native Americans. I'm looking for purpose of the work. What's the major And then, all right, what's the next step? How does all of this connect? The other opportunity that having a SAM allows for is that conversation with teachers. <laughs> the classrooms are not the classroom of a first year teacher. I know you're spending a lot of hours putting a lot of time in for what, what it is that you're doing on a daily basis, but it's paying off. It's paying off. Having the, the time for my principal to meet with us is really nice. I like being able to sit down with Ms. Dawson on a regular basis and talk about instruction. I see a lot more Miss Dawson around the building. She's been in the classroom for me. Anytime I have questions about instruction, she's always there, so I really like that. The school I came from had a vice principal and a principal, and they both shared the same duties and they did the same thing. And so you never really knew who you could go to at that time. It depended on who was doing it. 
when they're split up as a SAM and a principal, you know exactly who to go to for what you need. Here's your safety folder. It has the whole school roster in it for you. The biggest challenge for me in my first year was trying to switch from being a co-worker to staff members because I worked at the school for five years as a secretary. So I built strong relationships with everybody in the building. So having to tra transition from a co-worker to their supervisor was my most difficult task. This year everybody kind of has a clear understanding of what my role is and that I'm still going to support them and back them up as a supervisor. Where before it was kind of like everyone felt that if they didn't go directly to Mrs. Dawson for that, that they weren't going to get the support that they needed. It was a little difficult in the beginning, maybe the first six weeks of school. But I started organizing myself to where I had certain activities that I had to do each day. And no matter what, everyone knew this is where I'll be. If anyone calls, you have to let them know I'm in a classroom. And once I was able to do that and then go off and realize that the office runs itself, it became a little easier for me. And to be honest, this program isn't for every principal. It, it's only for those who really want to be the instructional leaders and are willing to give up the management pieces to the SAM. So part of this project is having a time change coach. That coaching piece is a critical piece to this project because it gives that principal a safe environment. It gives the SAM a safe environment to talk through the challenges they're facing and by doing that, overcome those challenges. I noticed that uh, your feedback uh, to your teachers was a little low and we talked about that and you also expressed some concern that you weren't always getting back with them. Mm -hmm. He's a veteran principal, he's a retired principal, so there are some things that we may have a question about that he's actually able to answer for us either from his experience or from some other individuals that he may be working with within our district. As the SAM program expanded to other school districts, the Kentucky Department of Education combined the use of time change coaches with focused professional development for its participating principals. We began training them on how to give feedback, how to look at instructional practice in the classroom, and how to coach teachers. Big picture, our test scores have improved. Even more importantly than that, we have truly become a community of learners. That work that you're doing in the classroom with your teachers has to be ongoing. Feedback is immediate. They are then able to either continue on something that is working or correct something that may not be as effective as you would like for it to be. The Kentucky Department of Education is implementing time management into its principal training programs. It's important because that's a lesson a potential principal that's just been hired into the position knows to keep first and foremost in their mind beginning and going into the job so that they don't fall behind the curve. We hope to create an awareness that a SAM could very much benefit their school setting if they can begin to create that culture. Mostly you need to make sure that the ability of the principal and the school community to do the right thing, to be able to explore this kind of work is allowed. And in, frankly, in many places it isn't. In many school districts that we are invited to go in and talk with them about SAMS, it becomes very clear that even the district culture doesn't allow that kind of work to happen without it being tied to things like evaluation, without it being tied to someone controlling above the school level. There are four models of the SAM program to meet the different needs of schools. In the SAMS project, in the network in nine states and 205 schools right now, we have about 30 percent of those schools that didn't add a position at all. Instead, they picked someone already on staff and said, would you be the SAM? Would you be willing, in addition to your regular duties, to have a daily meeting with the principal, to help the principal reflect on how they're using their time, to schedule the principal for instructional work rather than managerial work, and help the principal think through how you change that culture within the school. And remarkably, we're seeing the same kind of success in those schools where they didn't hire a new person. So you can go on and send this to her, okay. but let's not send it until we have a plan of action for exactly. it. I really don't know as of today how I did it before I had a SAM. On 
on some occasions I talk to the teachers and I say, wow, where would we be if we had had a Sam back in 1997 when I started? Yes, we've grown 40 or 50 points in our basic test scores, but what else would we have been able to do to truly serve the whole child as opposed to just waiting on these assessments that come at the end of the year and give us some information about how kids perform?